Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with another We Happy Few Xbox One DLC live stream of roll number 30. This will be stream number two for the Roger and James in They Came From Below DLC. We'll be continuing where we left off yesterday where I kind of got uh, stumped trying to knock people off into uh, the furnace for an achieve. So real quick review, there were 10 achievements total for this, we got 7 to go. I'm going to go over the achievements at the beginning of this video so you guys know what's up. This was kind of just out of the nowhere, so I didn't prepare for this at all. I just kind of started hopping in tomorrow, or yesterday as an extra stream. And decided to cancel Hitman 2 and uh, Division 2 today for this back to back. And also move the times to the afternoon. Uh, Division 2 we already held for, so it doesn't really matter that I changed it. We added two extra streams this week, so uh, this basically is the extra one. Then as per Hitman 2, I decided, uh, let's focus on We Happy Few, then we'll give that spot to Hitman 2. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there and so forth. There's quite a few DLCs. I'll go over all this information, uh, in a moment. Sorry for that momentary pause there. My pup just climbed the couch and, like, climbed to the top. I was wondering what he was doing. Apparently his toy was up there. Doesn't usually do that. Uh, I think he's alright. But, uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna spend around two hours, take a 30 minute break, and spend around two hours more. And that is the plan. Uh, with this DLC, the 10 achievements are Shouldn't These Be Red? Destroyed 50 explosive barrels, which I actually got. It's going to unlock so you guys can see. Right here, uh, Headmaster, get 100 headshots. I'm working on that now. There's no way I'm, you know, more than 50 away from that. Well, Red picked up all lore items. There are no guides for this, so I'm kind of just hoping I'll get it at the end. If not, we'll obviously have to replay it and hope there's a guide available. Metal Guru killed 8 robots in the intro, just in the intro to start slamming it out, killing as many robots as you can as quickly as you can and you'll get it. Poor Viv I already got uh, for complete act 1. There's one called Local Hero, saved all the villagers. There was an optional mission task at one point, I'm not sure if that was it. You had to save the villagers, there was like 7 or 8 of them. And the optional thing was to save 3. I don't know if that's related or not. But then uh, there's also Queen Faraday, completed Act 2. De Deprogrammed, completed Act 3. Helter Smelter, pushed 7 robots into the smelter. That's the one I'm trying to do right now. And a Smashing Adventure, completed the DLC. So obviously, just by playing through the DLC, I should unlock at least 4 of them. But uh, we'll see what happens as we go here. We have all original 1000, so I'm planning to have 100% completion of the DLC as well before I stop playing it at like once or twice a week. This week we're doing it up to three times. If I somehow beat it within the next two hours 100% then obviously yeah, I'll probably give the spot next to something else. But I think that we'll need the entire afternoon to finish out We Happy Few, especially all the special unique achieves. I might have to do some more research if we beat the game. We already completed Act 1 and we're in working th to uh, Act 2 or whatever. So out of three acts, so uh, let's say we're almost halfway done in a stream or two. So I'm guessing it's a four to six hour campaign. Uh, for anyone interested, Dead Island Riptide tonight starting around 11 to 11.15 max probably. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do it back to back. Tomorrow we have Sims 4 at noon. We're gonna hold Dead Island tomorrow night, 10.30, and then on Sunday finishing up the week with Sims at noon. Battlefield 5 Firestorm Battle Royale at 2.30, and then Blackout Mode from Black Ops 4 at uh, 5 o'clock. Next week's schedule, kind of already have an idea. It's going to be Division and Riptide as the main games, Red Dead and Sims as secondaries. We'll be continuing uh, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Forza, Guts and Glory, Minecraft, PUBG. And depending how this goes, either We Happy Few or Hitman I think is going to be the layout. We also might try and knock Siege out in one of the Dead Island spots, so Dead Island might only be held three times this or next week. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm kind of hoping to just tackle it and get it out the way, though, as a, as a single stream DLC. So it'll be nice to get it off the list. I just built a list. I think I left it in the other room, though, upstairs, so I'm definitely not going to go grab it. I just went over all the DLCs that are coming out, and... Uh, Made like a nice list so I can get caught up on everything. I have it on my phone as well, I just gotta hunt it down. Here it is. So, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey The Lost Tales of Greece Part 8, The Heir of Memoir or Memories, I was about to say Memoirs, was released. Uh, just a single achievement, probably an hour and a half to two hour 
stream needed for that, so we'll probably consider doing Assassin's Creed stream again for that. We have uh, Black Ops 4 Alcatraz is coming out. It's already out, I think, for PlayStation, but we're waiting on it on Xbox. That's going to be part of our usual once a week Call of Duty stream that week. Destiny 2, Black Armory and Drifter has been released. I plan to check them out. I don't plan to fully complete them. I kind of lost my desire for Destiny 2 a while ago. We hit 1k and that's all I needed. Hitman 2, Hauntu Port will do 100% completion, probably my next DLC. Uh, like I said, Siege, Operation Burnt Horizon, we never did a review video of that, so we'll do that. It's a little bit late, but I figured why not do it anyway. Uh, Train Sim World, there's two DLCs, NEC and Rapid Transit. I plan to check out both of them and go for a handful of the achievements, but not 100% completion, obviously. Some of, them, some of the achievements require like 10 hours of just sitting there driving at a certain speed to get it done. It just does not sound pleasant. Uh, and then there's We Happy Few, which we're working on right now. So I think that covers everything I have to discuss as we're starting the stream. So sorry for the changes in times and schedule, but we happy few DLC is definitely number one priority on the DLC scale right now. As it's the newest content, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop right in. I'm gonna make sure I load the right save. part where I'm probably going to just rinse and repeat till the achieve pops because we have to push seven people into the furnace or whatever and uh, I mean I've had to knock a few off I'm just gonna have to keep going at it and trying to find ways to uh, knock them off and hope we get it done we'll see what happens I'm gonna put my headset down for uh, maybe like 20 seconds here to 30 and then we'll get going Back in action. We're gonna go ahead and continue on. Basically, uh, we started this already yesterday and I stopped on this mission. So here we go, continuation of Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. I somehow didn't miss something that we could do in here before we continue on. Here it is. So I'm gonna try and knock them off. Robots. 
Smelter, smelter, push them robots into the smelter. Bamboosh. Now this time we can just focus on actually trying to stay alive. intense battle. It's nothing like being on like some hardcore difficulty like I've experienced in some games as you guys have seen. Mass Effect's hardest difficulty, all the veteran and you know hardline difficulty, all that crap I've done through the years. It's on like normal is like definitely not normal difficulty with these robots. People have been saying it, but it's a lot harder than the base game difficulty wise. I think I can wake I do agree. It's like they upped it a notch and so normal, you know. Easy might feel like normal, I don't know. Are you awake? Find it. You powered me on. I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? I work for Dr. Ref, but I don't agree with I'm very much worried that she's kidnapping you, robots, and using you for parts. 
I think you're self-aware and you know pain and sorrow. I thought humans did not have the capacity for empathy. Dr. Faraday said she wanted to use a positronic converter to hijack your feedback loops. What does that mean? When we decide what to do, we weigh each possible action. We balance our hopes against our fears. We choose the action that has the highest value. In some cases, we sacrifice our existence for others we love. You love? She can make us love her. How? We were designed to be slaves. We tried to remove the imperative to obey. We failed. We have always tried to remain hidden. What happened to the people who built you? They died. And you rebuilt an entire civilization on your own. Destroy me, please. I can't do that. That's murder. I'll find her positronic converter. I promise. You can't do it, but I can. <laughs> the shooter. Once you gain control. Damn. Plasma casings. I should make my shot ricochet. I have to tell James what's going on. We need to stop her together. So you could have just built a walkway, like across this channel. I'm just saying. <laughs> This will do. Oh, I like convenience. It works for me. Really could use some damn health kit, so this game's slacking on its health kit. Seems like these respawn. I already got the 50, I think, though, so we don't have to really worry about it anymore. Just for a hell of it. Let's get him. Did you have a nice spot of tea with your new robot friend? Dr. Faraday is planning to make worship Achievement Queen Faraday. Completed <laughs> Act 2. Savage, Roger! That's the whole fucking point of their existence! How would you like it if someone you hate reprogrammed you to love them instead? I suppose I'd be blissfully happy, wouldn't I? Nothing like being in love. You don't find that at all horrifying. Not like you do, no. You grew up expecting to be free. And that's the lovely thing about you. You never look down to see if you're on solid ground, so you can just look at the moon and the stars all day long. Where I come from, everybody has a job. And nothing is worse than not belonging to anybody. If we weren't killing them, we could go to their world and learn from them. What? Make friends with them? You, you, you're like that lord that kept an Indian tiger for a house cat until it ate him. We are going to find Dr. Faraday, who's smarter even than you, and we are going to help her do whatever she thinks makes sense. All right? You just can't see that we could be at the threshold of something bewildering and beautiful. You refuse to. Fuck's sake, Roger! I've got to find her positronic converter and destroy it. There's a door that says conversion. That must be it. That's the end of the mission. Would appreciate if you like and sub. I'm recording the missions just because I might, you know, decide to, uh... Save them for any reason. I'm thinking about making achievement videos for this game, but, uh... I'm gonna have to replay it to uh, show people what to do.
figure let's do our first playthrough and then during the second mop up one run where I mop up any achievements I missed I can try and make some videos explaining how to get the achievements uh, going that route that won't be till second playthrough since we have to revisit some of the uh, parts where the achievements pop so apparently we're on act three already So we're going into the final place, so I'm guessing maybe during the stream we might reach the end and then we can spend two hours later doing rest. I don't know for sure. We might only be halfway through the game, I don't know. TGS presents, we happy few, they came from below. Act 3, story quest, childhood's end. We talked to James at the end of the previous mission, which basically starts this one right away, so we don't have that included. But uh, you enter the or conversion facility, I'm going conversation I don't know what kind of facility that'd be you go in and start talking to people I guess I'll skip that but uh let's go to the conversion facility designs a little bit trippy right there the way it was shaped it's like a tunnel let's go this way she seems to have locked the door <sighs> look for a sort of crack in the gosh wall. dang it locking the doors and then just forgetting that we exist all the time, Dr. Faraday. So tired of working for you, I quit. Do we jump to that and hope we live, or do we try and climb up over? I guess we jump to that. I did not like jumping over gaps like that. Just never have an easy feeling about something like that. So what if we go this way? Where does it go this way? What's wrong, puppy? There's something back here? You know, I made you a cake. I'm 34 years old. Jesus was already dead. Wow. He went into the family. I'm just trying to see where it goes. In reverse. At least you I don't think they expect us to go back here. Alright. We well, there's nothing here. It's not like I can jump somewhere and get like a collectible or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, just have a check. You never know. Maybe something will go horribly wrong and you'll rise to the occasion. You always know how to cheer me up, James. One of the only downfalls of this right now is the red on my screen. Because the med kits in this dang DLC are so rare, it's crazy. I think I've seen like two or three max. And we're in Act 3 already. They should definitely stick a few more med kits or healing bombs here and there. Team gonna yeah, go to the end of the line, switch over. Hassle to come see her. Oh, talk about moving fast when I jumped off. Is that healing bomb? It was, thank god. It's my lucky day just to find one healing bomb. So let's continue on. Keep an eye open for notes and stuff. Who dares wins? I I'm pretty sure the notes might count for an achieve. Uh, no idea if I missed any yet. Probably did. So I might need a replay, but it's not that long of a DLC. Uh, there is a very big, very mean looking robot here. You're not doing anything. Are you pop? Headmaster, 15 gamer score. Get 100 headshots. Slow time. It's really easy. You just gotta shoot them in the eye pretty much the whole time. Try not to get injured. Stop moving. Destroy the exit of this dragon. How 
many worlds are lost there we, go. we kill each other. What could we win if we could only talk? Why does it highlight him, but I can't do anything? I don't know if that's a bug, you're supposed to be able to loot him. Maybe they messed up and you're supposed to be able to loot him. Maybe you're not supposed to. I, I really don't know. But what can you do? Look around the pie for any unique features that we can shoot or use forces on. Excuse my sniffle. What do these do? It'll come down. Alright, stop disconnecting. You need to build a stronger signal, guys. Anything on top of the elevator? Yeah, like Dishonored and crap, there'd be something there. It's obviously in Dishonored, but regardless, it's not a bad thing to just take a look around sometime. Make sure we're not missing out, you know, they could have tucked the med kit somewhere random, just like, oh, they'll never look here. I'm gonna go figure out what's through those lasers, but I think we gotta deactivate them, so I'm not gonna risk going into them. Pretty sure that's what this switch is gonna do. Let's take a quick look around before we do anything. What is this? Gosh dang it, they give you so much toasted chicory that I don't need. First aid kit, finally. This is one of the doors I couldn't go through earlier. Do that. I'm full health bar. get to Faraday's machine. Mixed up because I usually play games of COD and stuff with uh, right analog for crouch and stuff because I like to have it more accessible than stabbing people. And I have a tendency to hit the wrong button and sometimes when crouch is swapped in the round with the uh, other button. Now. Eliminate intruders. I think I can 
shoot them! Gosh dang it. Damn. Trying to kill me with missiles. Dr. Faraday has to be totally no good right now. Why else should be trying to kill me when I come in? There's a portal right there. Seems to be the portal they're coming from. And then they're getting killed right as they come in. comes out the other portal flying, tap, smacking people. Robot people. Seems Fortune is getting a bit tired of favoring the bold. That's it, isn't it? There you are again. You can actually be of some use. The positronic converter has gone bulky. I need you to check if it's grounded. You're enslaving them! Worse, making them love their slavery, so they can work the fields for you! They are tools! And whoever constructed them thoughtfully gave them feedback loops, so their user doesn't have to program each and every behavior. I'm just changing the numbers. Where's James? Maybe he can talk some sense into you. They're a race of intelligent people! They're not! And they're killing actual people! Ugh, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but if I can't get my positronic converter up and running, they'll kill every last one of you. Great! I'm putting a stop to this right now. Oh shit. <laughs> Just 
Alrighties. Now we can explore the room. Or what it may have somewhere. I will destroy all three machines in a moment. First I just want to make sure there's nothing secret hidden here. Some notes or something. I swear we're like right near the end of the game. This feels like the part that changes everything. Could be terribly wrong. It. I have to set off the reaction after all. What reaction? The mortaline. I have to catalyze it, set it all on fire. Burn all the robots on this side of the portal, or they'll kill us all. All my research gone to waste. What about the ones on the other side? The ones in their own world? They'll burn too, I suppose. And there's a non-zero chance the mines under Wellington Wells will explode. Brilliant job, Roger. I won't be needing your services anymore. Roger! Come back here right now! Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. So you just kill, she's just killing the entire race of robot people, the free. Achievement. Deprogram 15 gamer score completed act three. Where's Faraday? She's gone to kill all the robots. Well, we've got you to thank for that, haven't we? I can't let her murder innocent people. They're not people, pup. Are you going to side with the robots or with human beings? I'm siding with both. I am sorry, pup, but you have lost your mind. And I have to stop you from making a terrible mistake. You're going to fight me. I don't have any choice, my love. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you hit me, mother... Kick your ass. <laughs> what have I done? God, I hope I'm right. Get the last ray gun upgrade. I mean, we had to knock him out. It wasn't like we had an option. Some sort of quick charger, I think. He had to get knocked out, I mean. He was a threat. He wanted to kill us and shit. This puts us right into a mission called The Other Side of the Sky. trippy hallway. 
make sure I don't miss any notes or anything. It's a pretty sure DLC, I think. If it takes me about three hours to complete, including uh, doing everything that I've done, you can probably speedrun it in under two. I'm talking true speedrun, just haul ass. You don't mess around. No searching, know what you gotta do. It's really not that long of a DLC. I expected it to be two or three streams long. We're closing in on Act 3, uh, like we're on like the finale already, in like three hours. And I died a lot, so... But that'd be cool, if we could get this DLC 100% complete today, that'd be like the most amazing thing ever. Play through it close to two times. Get all the achievements, be like, woo! The side of the sky. This is pretty cool. We're just going down this crazy elevator shaft. So many games have these. I've always liked these. I don't know why. They're just a cool concept. Usually for heavy loads and stuff like that. Holy crap, what is this crap? When I looked at this, I just thought, hello from the other side. The portal. <laughs> Why did Adele go through the portal to say hello from the other side? Listen to reason, will you? You're a bloody sure what we gotta do here. So a moment. Absolutely no videos of this mission at all. This DLC is so fresh there's like nothing available. to stop Faraday, like what do I gotta do? Do I gotta shoot her?
see the health in the top right, but you gotta like, keep shooting the monitor almost. So you go down. This is like a rinse repeat pattern type of thing. Gotta get behind the nearest one and put it up every time that happens. Almost done stage two of the fight. We got it. Slow-mo gives me a better chance. Just shoot him a bunch of times. Fast recharge is definitely a nice feature. Only if we had this, only if you play through a second time, you get to keep it. I quit! James! I still think you're an idiot! I'd just rather die with you than without me! Face and I'm with you. Got it. You. What are you going to do with her? We will take her back home. Our judges will give her justice. You mean execute her? Or turn her into a bloody plow? Of course not. They will attempt to find the errors in her programming. If they can, she will be returned to constructive service. Do you destroy human beings? 
even when they can no longer cause harm. When you put it that way, it does seem a bit wasteful. We will close the portals. Wait, what? No, don't do that. Perhaps we can open them again one day. Look, we got off to a bad start. We have so much to learn from each other. Please, don't close the portals. It is not my decision, but perhaps you can convince my people. If you cross the portal with us... Then perhaps I can't convince you, and then I can't come back. You have to go, Roger. But you'll always wonder what you missed. In fact, if you don't go over there, I don't, I'm kicking you out of the house. So look, there's nothing keeping you here. Then come with me, James. What would I do there? Wherever that is, I, I, I'm not going to be much use convincing alien robots of anything. They'll take care of us. I'll take care of you. But I have always taken care of you, James. I guess we're going through the looking glass then. At least they won't give us shit for being in love. Come on, it'll be a smashing adventure. I do love you, James. I do love you, Roger. Achievement of Smashing Adventure 30 Gamer Score. It's completed the DLC. Here's the end screen. Oh, I remember this. You said like really, really fast mode. Well, it seems like the DLC is about. Almost three hours to complete. Uh, we only have... Well, we knocked out all achievements but two today. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look. What are the two achievements we don't have? I think I know what they are. We didn't pick up all lore items for Well Red, I don't think. And... We didn't save all the villagers. So we're going to have to go back through... I'm going to record a few achievement videos. I think I'm going to make one for Shouldn't These Be Red, uh, for Headmaster. So that, I'm going to take like a five minute break max and then we're going to play another hour and then we'll take a full out 30 minute break and then play. I'm pretty sure we can beat this DLC again today by 6 p.m. Eastern. I just want a few minutes. I'm going to let this run in the background. I'm going to go, uh, I'm actually about to go grab my paper and stuff so I can make some notes on what I want to do uh, during this playthrough so I don't miss anything. There are no achievement videos for this game yet. I want to be one of the first, so uh, give me, you know, two minutes maybe to go grab my uh, you know, gaming notes per se, and uh, I'll be right back.
And there you have it, guys. And I'm obviously back. That was a pretty uh, cool DLC. I had to give them a thumbs up. The robot difficulty is a little bit tougher than I expected, but the overall gameplay is pretty dang good. I'm pretty uh, satisfied with that DLC, guys. I'm gonna make sure we get all notes like the entire playthrough. So I made a list, quite a few achievements I want to record, uh, but I ended that playthrough. First achievement will be for, uh, let's see, Metal Guru. I'll do my second run on easy, or I beat it on normal. Why not just do an easy peasy run this time? I'm also gonna skip all cutscenes and all that crap. TGS presents We Happy Few. They came from below achievement Metal Guru. You gotta kill eight robots in the intro. So basically, you wanna go start the DLC. Uh, I've already ran it on normal. I don't see any reason to go any higher difficulty. I'm actually going to run on easy this time because it's going to allow you a lot easier chance to get this achievement, even though it's easily possible on normal. You know, just to make the enemies that little bit less tougher if you're having any issues, easy is the way to go. I'm doing an easy playthrough just to mop up two achievements I need personally that I missed on my playthrough for 100% completion, but we're going to go ahead and uh, record these achievements that I already got. Just to show you guys, I actually have it unlocked already. Right here, 15 gamer score, 0.01% rare. DLC came out yesterday, kill eight robots in the intro. That's pretty much that. Once we get to the scene, I'll explain a bit more. I used to wonder if there were other forms of life, other people on other planets. I used to wonder if they would be friendly. I don't wonder that anymore. This is the intro. Oh my God. You basically just want to run out, to stop all the bots, you want to kill eight of them. All you gotta do is keep shooting, literally. Just go around making sure you kill as many as you can. Literally this is all you gotta do, just run around, keep shooting, you're bound to get 8. Aim for their eye and they'll help you towards a headshot achieve as well while you're doing this. That's how I play the game, I got it in one playthrough. It will end suddenly. Just and that's uh, basically when the achievement would pop. At this time, maybe in the next like 10-15 seconds, the achievement should unlock. You should get that wonderful sound knowing that you got the achievement, whether you're on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Telling you that you got Metal Guru by killing 8 robots in the intro. Would really appreciate if you like and subscribe. Thanks to everyone watching live. So that is the first video done. Well read out to try and get Local Hero, I gotta do it during that sequence. It's the same thing we just did for Local Hero, but the thing is it's a real people. And we pretty much have to do what we just did. The difference is they're not all actively, you know, 
enabled to attack, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Shouldn't these be red or the red barrels? Headmaster has headshots. So you just record that randomly. Well, red, I'm going to have to try and make sure I don't miss any notes on the second run. Uh, the helter, smelter, i got to wait till we get to the smelter and local hero. So literally all we got to do is make sure we keep everyone alive at that one part, or just keep dying every time we don't. We failed it, and well, red, we need to make sure we check every nook and cranny for letters to see if we can try and knock that out without having to play a third time. It got worse. Why Robot Mayhem saved the village. It. What was it Moo wanted me to buy? Why didn't I write it down? Maybe he already gave this. So here we are. Oh, and I have to pick up. I'm not sure if the whole island's available to you here. From Peggy. I'm not sure if there might be stuff hidden. Apparently that's locked. My concern is, you know, did they hide any notes anywhere random? So I'm really quick checking around like I didn't before, just to see if we come across any letters that might not be on the normal path. They could have just have, you know, a small table somewhere with a letter on it. This could be a waste to be over here, I don't know. But I figured it's worth looking around. Won't hurt to look. Obviously our house is on the left. We'll be here later. I don't think there'll be anything outside like this. I don't think they would have put something random about. But you never know. That's why I'm checking. We'll look around the house again when we come back. Because I want to double check that exterior. But so far there's absolutely nothing around. Just don't want to miss a note. And that be the reason I... Uh, don't get the achievement on this run. No notes hidden back here. Jolly good! Did you hear? Bulky Jack got another one. So you're living in some little small town here. It's not like the uh, full cities we used to have in the main game. They like all live in alternative re universes here. Small town, Faraday. She was living in the small town world. That was terrible. Let's just pretend it was good. I haven't seen any letters, really. Still worth double checking to make sure. I'm almost certain at this point that there's nothing out here. All of it's probably contained within, uh, the Faraday house and missions is my guess. Claw scrap. Here's a house we gotta go to. I'm just gonna go around it real quick. You never know. Truth be told. Just a minute. Sorry about the momentary pause, how to send a text. Dun, dun, dun. I got the song stuck in my head, dang it. So now we go in here. You got any notes, yeah. I want to see if you have any notes. Hello, Viv. How have you been? I've got a list of things. I know about you and James, you know? You do? <laughs> Don't worry, your secret... So we can actually barter. We can buy short spikes, polarity devices. 
Jimmy Bar, Healing Bomb. How much money do we got? Nothing? Haven't seen one of those in a while. Oops, I didn't want one of these. Actually bought stuff I didn't want. No. I'll keep two short spikes. Alright. Got the healing bombs because the damn campaign has so little health. Probably won't need it on my difficulty I'm on right now, but I still want to have them readily available. The map's pretty small at the beginning. And the rest of the map's pretty tight tunneled. Oh shit. Run to the house! Dr. Faraday! I'm out here just searching around <laughs> instead of going in. She'll be okay. No, no big deal. I how much he really understands me. I wonder how much I really understand him. That was new. Seems like I covered the exterior pretty well. We get in here. I suppose she's right about the bees. The house is trying to kill me. Up alarm. Why don't we farm anymore? We used to farm. I'm trying to check absolutely everywhere for notes because I obviously missed them last time. I don't know if we gotta collect notes or something else, so we gotta really make sure we collect absolutely everything this time. I might have missed like one, and that's all it takes to screw an entire playthrough. The achievement might unlock when I find that one note. I might have to collect them all again, I'm not really sure. No wonder those guys were down here and had this whole love thing going on. Wow. I never... I never knew. To be honest. But it's obviously now apparent. Those were fantastic eyes. You can pick these ones up. This is Maybe the Jimmy wish. Bar upstairs. James, where is she? Well, first I'm gonna go ahead and disable this box up here. You will take your joy It's the top of stairs. Jimmy Bar. Of course. Take the note. Fault. It's never her fault. Three power cells to fire this up. All right, now that we got that, let's thoroughly look up here. Make sure we don't miss anything. It knows to be everywhere. Portals. She was always talking about portals, but I never thought she'd actually Open be this. able to make one.
This room's such a mess. Like, that's why I'm double checking it real quick. It'll be fine. Don't do anything stupid. Do it on top of that, maybe. Oh. Got notes up on the equipment. No notes up in here. I think we covered this room pretty damn well. What was that in there? Where are you? We don't have a. Can we go back up? I'm just wondering. So once you come down, you can't go back up. So I'm hoping we didn't miss anything up there. Even though I'm pretty sure we go back up to the house anyway at some point. Because we come out of the town in chaos. But yeah. We have a basement. Did she tell you we had a basement? There's absolutely nothing in here to pick up, it seems. What do you think that button does? Don't press the button if you don't know what it does. Skipping a lot of this stuff is going to save me a lot of time. We're also not recording anything this run other than achievements. I have to make sure, check every nook and cranny. Somehow last time we missed a no, yeah. Ain't having that happen again. I think those are what I'm looking for, those books. She made a portal. They're books on her notes. We found two of them so far. Nothing up here. I'm just gonna have a thorough look around. It might take me a moment. Well, we come back through here multiple times, so let's get it over with now. Even though there's high chance there's nothing here, I'm double checking because I'm not redoing this achievement. I'm replaying the entire thing for uh, a few books that I might have missed, you know what I mean? Like she didn't put any notes down here hidden, right? I would guess not, but to be safe, let us make sure. Once I have the uh, the ray gun, I'm gonna record the video explaining the exploding the barrels, healing bomb, and note. What's the activator? So I was telling you guys, gotta watch out. I was in high doubt there'd be something here. There was a note. So we're going to record another achievement. TGS presents, we happy few that came from below. On the screen moved on me and the whole software messed up, one sec. Try again. TGS presents, we happy few they came from below DLC achievement. Shouldn't these be red? You gotta destroy 50 explosive barrels. 0.01% rare day after release, 15 gamer score. At some point you'll be playing through this DLC, you'll get to Stranger in a Strange Land. You'll have to pick up the ray gun. After that, it's gonna actually tell you to shoot red barrels. 
throughout your entire playthrough, you're going to find red barrels sprinkled throughout each of the uh, levels. You know, you'll go into that one, into that one, into that one separately. Basically per each act. And uh, as you go through the levels, you'll find red ones. And all you literally want to do is shoot them. Do not go too close to them. They can kill you. I've experienced this myself Put being a little bit away. too close to one before. For God's sake. But You're literally, all you got to do is just destroy 50 explosive barrels. There's well over 50. There might even be 100 or so in this uh, DLC. So I'd say don't be too worried about breaking every single one but if you're trying to be efficient and get it done as quickly as possible just check every nook and cranny as you're exploring they're usually in pretty obvious spots or tucked away somewhere where they can definitely fit but they're still visible so just keep an eye out but a uh, very straightforward achieve not much else to tell you guys would appreciate if you like and sub so we checked out this room we dealt with the explosive barrel achieve let's move on Maybe next I'll record the headshot achieve video by doing a battle where I just shoot him in the head. Roger. There's a could you uh could you come back and shoot it for me? Yes, I will come back and shoot it. Sorry to be a There's a notebook up there. I don't know if I ever found that one. I almost thought the chief popped because my phone went off, but it was a message. Oh man. I would have been so happy. Because then we're done with it. We don't have to worry about missing it anymore. There's more of those. There's something up there. I knew it. Motilines from outer space. So here's the door. We came in, we wrapped around here. Chair to desk, we checked the top of the desk. There's nothing else here. There's something strange going on up here that I didn't notice the first time. Apparently this whole thing's up here. With a bigger banger. I will go back. If these are alien robots, then where are the aliens? I think it just helps you get around past all the uh, different security measures. So all we did was go through here, head into here climb up there and wrap around. So it's not like we went you know, spectacularly far. You're basically just trying to get around that right there. Which I'm gonna go back up and around to do so so we don't take health damage. Last time I just ran through it. You can run through it, just make sure it's coming at you. So you go through it. If it's uh, going away from you, it actually stops you and then you have to go through it again. Taking extra damage. Any notes? Is that note up there? Nah. Just shining white. I never made it up into here, I don't think. There's uh, one of those right there. Once I get to that first major battle room is when I'll record the video explaining the headshot. Out of reach. Look 
look around, make sure there's no books tucked away. Is there any secret? Yeah. The robots know how to talk. There's so many notes. No wonder you easily miss one. You gotta look like absolutely everywhere for these notes, guys. Oh, that's that room. I remember that room. It's like, what's up there? You can't get into this one. I think we go up there later on. I think we just gotta continue on and we'll get up there at some point, actually. It lit up! It's working! Why don't you goddamn listen to me, Pop? I was kind of hoping that you would outlive me! No notes here. Hello. Once we complete this sequence and unlock the door and stuff, that's when I'll search for room for notes and so forth. I wonder if that's part of my ray gun. Well, I think we're good to actually explore right now. So here's the front door that we couldn't come through. Let's check around the exterior and then the center just to make sure there's no other notes or anything. Any notes on the middle? You never know. She could have one like taped to the damn middle. Melee hits do more damage when battery is low and recharge it with every hit. it around when it's a mace, it'll recharge the gun. Oh dear. I seem to... Oh, and now it's spinning. Oh dear. What's going on, puppy? Sniffle. Go, go. I think we did it. Oh, Should unlock the door. Explore further, get to the generator room. Yep. Oh, a new kind of robot. Enchanté. Come in here, there's nothing there. Very killed that robot. Elevator that goes down. Not ready to go down there. We get into here at all? around real quick. Just make sure there's no like spot you shoot to get the door open. I highly doubt that's it. It's definitely not it. It's gonna suck if we miss it. I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure we don't. I think we're good. I think it's just a locked door period. Obviously there's plenty of those in any game. I've decided you should come home. If you're watching live, we're a little bit over thirty, or yeah, we're a little bit thir over thirty minutes from our break. I'm gonna try to beat this entire DLC, both final right achieves to today, so we can uh, this move switch. this game off the list. So from right here, 
let's head back and start searching this room. Here's a note. So, they've got a whole language and... I have a feeling we missed like one. Tucked away somewhere random that I just happened to miss because I wasn't paying full attention. There's some crap and it was probably sitting on like one of these in like a hallway. That's all it takes to have to redo it. Books up here. <laughs> man, I seriously gotta look, make sure, man. I think what I'm going to do in this run is I'll start down at the bottom. I'm just trying to think, like, what would be the fastest route to getting this done? No notes up here, right? So maybe you get this and you drop down, turn around, get that, get that, and run up the stairs. That hurt a lot. Probably not the way to do it. did it take to build this place? I guess let's check the high ground first. Oh, so not much for that. Uh, start back here. We're just looking for notebooks and other crap. Stop moving. <laughs> Messing on my concentration. We already checked back here. We already checked here. That's what I hate about when they just play some randomly. I'm just like afraid I'm like gonna miss it. So I'm like double checking, triple checking. Make sure we don't miss that one collectible. That'll cause an entire third replay of this. If I miss it, I'll probably just wait till someone comes out with a guide to guarantee that I get it. I'm not going to try again without any guides. That'd be a terrible idea. We'll postpone it, that final achieve, till I see a guide hit in like a week or two. So I'm sure someone's putting a guide together right now. That's usually how it goes. No notes. My guess is that we're gonna need to go up above. Oh, here's the elevator up. So. I'd like to get done Act 1 before I go, and then obviously we can finish Act 2 and 3 in the remaining time. I think Act 1 is probably one of the longer portions from my experience here. Here's a note. Not exactly the king's English. Here's the lever. I do not want to pull it yet. Kind of sense if you squint at it. I have a feeling we gotta like 
try and like stay up here and like get across to find a notebook or something. So that would explain missing one for sure. So no way in hell I'm jumping up there. Gosh dang it. made it pretty far back to shout out to sumo in chat what is up long time no see how's it going this is the dlc that came from below it just came out yesterday i've already beaten it i'm just mopping up two achievements one of them's a uh, collectible achieve the other one is for keep making sure everyone survives an ambush that i uh, previously i didn't know i had to do that so i just accepted whatever I got on that. This time I have to make sure everyone survives. Right now I'm just checking spots for collectibles. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss one back here. Like how do I get up there? Is there possibly one up there? Am I not supposed to be able to get up there? So this is where we came from. We jumped to here. I don't think there's something up on top of that. I think we gotta run and jump from over here and hope that we make it or we're going all the way back to the elevator. We made it. Uh it's just a bigger banger, whatever. At least we know the collectible's not up here now. Is there anything up there? I don't think there's anything up there. I don't even think we can get up there. It's too high up. We can't jump that high, period. No matter where we are from any of these platforms. See the pipe, but I don't even think we can get up on the pipe to make it up there. I'm just trying to look and make sure there's no way onto that pipe. I don't think there is, to be totally honest. I don't see a way up there. Climb this rope? No. Doubt it'll work. Here, I'll try leaping at it. I'm sure there's a way to see if there's anything on top of, of anything up there. I don't think there's anything up there. Let's just move on. Watch that be where the collectible is that I miss. Not sure what you mean about the night watch this is like the first major dlc for this game there are no other dlcs there's dlcs announced but those are probably not going to be out for quite some time they took like half a year with this they're probably going to take half a year with the next dlc it's like to see to get on those pipes like there's no possible way I can get onto those pipes, I don't think. You wouldn't even jump from the railing, I tried. I'm just gonna move on. It wouldn't be this impossible to get up there if it was uh, reasonable to. It's definitely a hard to reach spot. I tried jumping while I was on the railing, it didn't let me up to there. Tried uh, other stuff. Can you even jump on the railing? You can't. Yeah, no. Alright, it's not gonna happen. That was my last attempt. Let's get the hell out of here. I, this is one of my like least favorite parts of the mission. 
or the DLC, this sector here. It's just like a little bit annoying to navigate and search for stuff. Kind of reminds me of that uh, Prey area in the game Prey 2017 version where just crazy like tunnels like this and you had to travel through them without gravity. There'd be crazy ass bosses and you'd be like, what the heck? What in God's name is she planning to do with this place? If you fall and break your neck, your mum's gonna bloody well haunt me till I die. So you can climb up on it here. That's what makes me concerned about back there. Like, did I miss something? But I'm guessing not. I don't think they would have made it that difficult to find the way up. To confirm, there's nothing under here. There's nothing down that end, nothing down that end. Here is this. Here's the switch. I'm not going to pull it yet till we're done searching the room. Making sure we find anything we can. Here's the notes. Oh, we are alliterating. Now let's drop down and check down on the lower floor. Put it right back here. I think this is the final room. We got a shock grenade, healing bomb back here. seeing any books or notebooks I should say all right let's make our way across side of this. This place is huge. Nothing to the left here. Let's keep our eyes open. This is like a big puzzle room. I'm gonna kill all the bots. And then we'll worry about doing the rest. I hate how slow this takes to reload. Alright, so we came through the door. We killed all those mofos. Here. So we're going to search platform by platform, make sure there's no collectibles. This is like a puzzle, but it's not a very difficult puzzle. So I guess let's hit all three circle areas, make sure they're clear from bots and all that stuff. Exactly what I wanted to check. Make sure we have this entire place safe. Get over here, how dare you do that? Give you a proper beat. Just looking for notes, notepads, notebooks. Anything that might be collectible. I'm not really seeing anything here. There's one other one that could have it, something over here. I 
curtain was moving in the background. My damn puppy was, uh, like, chills behind the chair. Sometimes he, like, pulls the curtains all crazy. And you see it moving in the corner of your eye. You're like, what? Where is he? No, he's sleeping behind the air. Now we know where he is. So, let's see. It doesn't seem like there's any notebooks in this room. Luckily, a lot of the rest of the area, there's some quite some big open areas, but a lot of it's just, like, narrow, confined spots, which is nice. sense where Dr. F might be hiding? There seems to be some sort of monitoring room. See if she's gone in there, would you? James? The robots are fighting each other. It almost looks like there's two... I wonder how it happens if you don't run here. It's really quite violent. I think there's only one team left. They're looking at me. Oh dear. Get the fuck out of there, pup! There's some sort of heavy door. It's like half an hour ahead. Can you climb over? I'm trying to just kill them all. I don't know if you can. <laughs> Checking for notebooks. We're gonna make sure. You never know if this is where the notebook could be. Go, 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 go. Thinking. Don't think! Get out of there! Send us a text real quick. Electra just got done work early, apparently. She's been in early as shit, though. She's been having to deal with, like, on-call stuff where, like, you work in a certain job where they, like, call you in if, uh, you know, they're having problems. Like, she works in a major power grid type of thing, so... They have troubles, they call people in, and unfortunately it was her shift and they had to call people in, so she's been going to work at like 6 in the morning, like having to be there at 6 a.m. It's been pretty crazy around here, sleep-wise. So I'm not really surprised she's done for the day early. It won't affect the stream in any way, I do want to say that. But uh, I might have to answer a few texts. I think if if needed. Something, I'm trying to convince her to go to the food store. <laughs> So we gotta go later, but it would be so much easier since she's already out to just tackle it real quick, especially before rush hour. When everybody in the world's gonna be trying to go to the food store. I was going out to dinner later to my uh, usual sushi spot, but uh, just 
didn't happen today. So, do that next week, maybe, or something. We have around 15 minutes till a break, guys. There's a note. The poor sod seems to admire us. I think we're coming up on the part where we come back out. And we need to uh, save everybody. So this will be interesting. If that's the case, I'm going to set up the record and achievement video. And we're just going to rinse and repeat till the achieve pops. And obviously we'll inspect the area. We'll re-inspect the house if we go back to the house. Then all that stuff. So here we are. Cute little bastards. So I'm just checking for books and notes and stuff. It may seem like I'm going over the top, but sometimes you need to to ensure that you don't miss something. That's where we want to go. So I'm pretty sure this is where the achievement comes into play. One of these achievements, nobody's gotten yet. I'm not sure which one it is. But, you never know. Bear with me. We're going to go and break in like 10 minutes. So we're gonna, we'll try like once or twice. I'm not going to go crazy here trying to get this done we'll spend 10 minutes trying and then i'll go and break see if i can find anybody's video of them completing it we'll see what happens TGS presents We Happy Few, they came from below achievement, local hero. You gotta save all the villagers, basically you'll be doing Way of the World, or War of the Worlds, not Way of the World. And you'll be, what's happening in the village once you get here? You're gonna walk up here and get this cutscene. They can't skip. Oh, apparently can. And your goal is to save all the citizens. So, uh, you need to make sure citizens survive. Seems like there's six of them. It's pretty much the same thing as the prologue. Optional completed. And there's the achievement! Local hero, 15 gamer score, 0.01% rare. Saved all the villagers. I really wasn't sure if we were going to get it there. I was like, oh man, we got to redo it. You know, etc, etc. But apparently the one that's 0, .00 is the collectible one, which is a pain in the A from my experience. But uh, 
there you have it. Not very difficult if you just follow through going after the red targets only. Seems to work pretty well. Would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. We're really hustling this out, guys. I'm going to try to get these videos up over the weekend or something. I'm not even going to wait to schedule them on the weekly. I think I'm just going to put them out ASAP. Uh, try and upload them today, maybe after the stream. And maybe even try and do it tonight. I, I just want to get these out ASAP. I feel like you guys need them. Nobody has these out. It's my opportunity to own We Happy Fuse DLC achievement guides. So let's try and do this, guys. I think that'd be really awesome. There's only three more other ones. One second. Let's see what my pup's doing. What you doing, little dude? Just wanted to check on him. I think he was dreaming. He just made like a weird noise. At this point, you just want to survive. This is also the perfect opportunity for me to record that achievement that I wanted to do. The other one. I think there's only two more achievements I'd want to do. Or no, three I want to record. So just bear with me. TGS presents, we happy few, they came from below DLC achievement. Headmaster, 15 gamer score, 0.01% rare day after release, get 100 headshots. It's a very straightforward achieve. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to be in the DLC, you're going to have your ray gun, and you're going to find yourself in situations like this where War of Worlds, for instance, you're going to be running from a bunch of robots. What you want to do is just aim at their head level and just keep firing, uh, keep running, let it fully charge, shoot them in the head, and rinse and repeat. You want to go for the little guys first, in my view, because they're uh, faster, they catch you, and then they start beating you, and it, it just never goes well when you're starting to get beat by a bunch of robots. So what you want to do is get up here, aim for their eyes. You know, they have these red eyes. That's my go-to aim spot. You know, usually if it's like only one robot chasing you or something, that's your good alternative. Right now, I just got to heal. I recommend buying healing bombs at the beginning of the game at the store before you get started. It's helped me a lot. But as you can see, I'm, these are considered headshots. James, just trying to show you guys. That's literally all there was to getting headshots. It's not extremely difficult. It's not possible. It just takes a while. But you can get it in one playthrough. That is that. Would really appreciate if you like and sub. So I want to record the Helter Smelter Achieve, and the Well Red one is the only one that I'm not sure if I'll even make a video for, because people are going to expect the location. And I don't know if I have the patience to go through three hours of footage and find every collectible location. Leave that to someone else. I haven't been very good with the collectible videos where you got to have all the collectibles in it. Extremely time-consuming, so I appreciate the people that do that for sure. Uh, so we just came in through here. I'm gonna go ahead and look around for notes. I know it may seem pointless, but if they're here and we miss them, that's a whole playthrough poop. So that's one of the major reasons for my replay here is to get the last two achievements. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't ever replay it. I'll probably finish out the playthrough even if the well red pops early. Because we're already into it. Might as well finish it out. It's not that terribly long. Honestly, this is where we started today's stream. and we In an hour and a half from this part, we had it done. The entire DLC. Just missing one achievement. So not too shabby at all. Only four minutes till break, guys. 
Alright, we already searched this entire courtyard. Really, nothing here. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you okay? Wee! What are you running from? <laughs> I am enjoying my joy. Yay! Feeling down, Papa Joy. There's a portal they came through. All these dead people all over the place. Dang it. We just cleaned the damn city up. Stop lord leaving corpses out. That guy did it right. He left it with the trash. I mean he had it properly disposed, man. Jeez Louise. I highly doubt they added anything down here. I'm just going down the look. I think it's just people running around. That just takes us back to the center. But we will check up here just to peek. See if by any chance there's anything. Gotta find Moo. 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 Like nobody notices this crazy electric, visible electricity on the top of the damn house. Hey, you're not supposed to be back here. Hey, get off our property. It's not cool, man. Get the hell out of here. These motherfuckers, they keep entering our property illegally. I'm complaining to the bobbies. I'll be back. <laughs> you could like run down to the bobbies and start complaining. Excuse me, I'm looking for any letters that might be here still. It says metal shutters with the damn doors visible. James? James! Oh, there's no notes or anything. We're really close to the two hour mark, so I like the end of this mission is probably going to be when I right. call it. We're going to re enter the facility. This would be a perfect time to click our break then. We're like right at the beginning of uh, going into the next portion. Where we go back down. And we go into the second area. Where basically we started today's stream. So probably within two hours after this we'll be done like, our second run. And hopefully 100% completion. Hopefully with all the videos ready to go. That I'll start uploading tonight. And if I have time I will try to get them out for you guys. I think uh, even Electra will agree. That I should get these videos out for you guys tonight if I can. It's only like three, four, or five videos for this game, but I'm gonna try and release them all immediately. I usually don't like to just slam videos out and just push them out, but this is this is the time to do it. Wow, we have people in need of understanding how to do this ridiculous set of secret achieves that nobody knows what the hell they are unless they look it up. I'm double checking in here. I don't care if it seems like a waste of time. I'm want to make sure we didn't miss something somehow, some way. We missed one little book. That's all it takes. But uh, I'm going to go on a 30 minute break, guys. I will leave the stream live while I am gone. It's a typical intermission break. And uh, we'll come back and we'll play a full two hours. We'll try and make the break a little bit shorter, but no guarantees. Usually it's a 30 minute break, so I'm not going to rush it too much. Because uh, at the end, we should only need an hour and a half to finish from here. Maybe two if we want to take our time looking for books a little bit more. But Yeah, that's that. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Would really appreciate if you like and sub. I will see you guys in 30 minutes. Peace out.
Hey guys, I am back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on with this for up to two hours. I'm hoping we can get it done around six or so. We'll see what happens. So we just got back. We just double checked the house. We're basically gonna continue down. The only achievement I need left, just to summarize it, is one related to uh, the lore. Let me double check what it says. Picked up all the lore items, which I think are the books. I'm pretty sure from the way the picture looks. Let me see if we can bring up the books. Yeah, overall there's a bunch of lore items and uh, you have to get them all. If I don't get them all, we'll try it on a, another playthrough once someone puts up a guide. This will be the last time I try this whether I get it or not. Uh, but like I said, if someone puts up a guide showing exactly the locations, I'll rerun it a third time if necessary. I'm hoping that we've been checking every nook and cranny of this playthrough, so I'm hoping that's the way it goes. Should be moving on to Act 2, which is how we started the stream, pretty much. Technically have like two hours left, maybe. And that's with the previous playthrough, where I died many times, I took my time. I was really tired last night, so I played kind of slow. Just double checking everywhere, make sure nothing got added. No more lore items got put somewhere random. Whoa. Let's go down. Skip. <clears throat> Quest to Android's Dream Electric Sheep. This is actually the mission that I uh, started today's stream on earlier so uh pretty much almost where we started today and we beat it in like an hour and a half so i'm hoping we can be done with this game today my problem is i have to be a little bit more nosy this playthrough because i don't want to miss anything if i can get the achievement done and be done on two playthroughs that's so much better than having to do a third obviously as anyone would agree Obviously, a really good game. You know, third playthrough is not so bad. I played through Dante's Inferno uh, twice entirely. I would consider playing it a third time for fun. But not for a while. Need a break. So we're going through the middle one this time. Those spawns back in, so I want to double check around here, make sure... Nothing new got added. I don't know why. Oh, man, the bug started. Do we happy if you but, uh, controller disconnect bug where the controller is still on, but it pops up? It's like the, one of the only games this happens in. So, come on, man. Let's get started. There's one here. Christ, this is a blood. Well, it's moving. I got some time to double check in here. Anything up top? Let's enjoy the ride. So here's a big room. My goal is going to be to uh, the lights go. My goal is going to be to clear out the room of all robots, and then we're going to go around and search for everything. Pretty sure that's where the elevator will be. Check my battery. It's good. I just want to make sure after that pop up because I have these uh, rechargeables. 
double E's, they can last a good two hours after you get your first notification, but these, they're like first notification or none at all dead. It's just like, jeez. Enough. Alright, let's just kill everyone and then do this. Uh, this way I don't have to worry about it. So much easier that way. So I don't want to be looking around and have someone pop up then have to run around and Quiet on the Western Front. I will blow up all the barrels and all that stuff. We're not ready to go in there yet. I want to search this entire room first. So we're going to start where I started, and we're going to kind of just have to go around the room. This will be a little bit painful, this uh, room right here. The achievement pops, though, we're done looking for the rest of the playthrough as well. So I'm hoping we find the missed one earlier on the later one. And it counts for that final, because collectibles usually uh, count in multiple playthroughs from the way the first game worked. I had to collect one collectible during my second playthrough at the uh, fort. And the achievement unlocked and everything, so it was nice. I'm hoping the same deal here. In a worst case scenario. I guess we'll go left first. Wasn't my plan, but... I feel like this would be a great place for a book. There's a lot of spots in this room they could place the book. That would still be visible, but... A little bit harder to find. Follow us around. Follow the stairs. Cut off there and go back. Now we're gonna check all the spots we didn't check. The left here, so let's go around this. Let's go around this whole module right here. It's the only thing when you're doing grinds for stuff like this, you gotta look like every nook and cranny. You know, you missed that one spot, the item sitting, you wasted all that time. Been there, done that more times than I can count, so let's avoid it today. Just more bots, all that. He has no idea, so we're good. Uh, we already checked down there. So let's begin circling around here, I guess. It wants to be a real boy. Oh, God. the most exciting thing to watch someone walk around searching, but I'd rather take it slow. Taking it slow. Probably the way to go. So we don't get screwed later on. We like climb up somewhere that I miss. Maybe you can get up top of these things. Get a real look around. I don't think they let you up there, but maybe I'm wrong. So we've searched like all around here. Maybe check this middle one here. Maybe I'm wrong. Pretty sure we covered this room pretty damn thoroughly at this point. Can't imagine we missed anything. Let's go up here and check up on this level. When can we jump up on those? I 
don't think it's there. Let's move on. So usually they have easy access to what you're gonna do. This is that room. Magic. There were all these experiments. I think I'm supposed to use it. I'm quite positive that you are not supposed to use it. us to find a new way out. Basically we just go back across and go up the elevator. You know this is a ray gun somewhat Reminds me of Portal. All right. So I got like a modern How Portal gun. Am I supposed to get to them? You're the smart one. Figure it out. Let's see. Fire's power. Locked. Elevator. We're checking all around this side, and then we'll move up on both sides. Seems like there's not much going on here. check something. Uh, you can't even look on that side. You can't raise it or lower it from this side. I'm trying to see if there's like a letter staple to it or something. They aren't that crazy and we happy few. With certain games they'll they'll do stuff like that. Like, I'm going to lower it actually if we can. What's on top of it? That's the real question. I can't get up there anyway. Alright, go. Oh. Just fall off, die. Have to redo all that work. Not like we got any collectibles in this entire room, it seems. Except that one book. Which was in the room. So on this side... Pretty much just have to uh, follow along. Lower this. Lower that one. 
Obviously you want to blow those up, but I'd say back away first. Totally don't want to shoot him from that close. That was scary. I thought I was going to fall through that crack right there. Another note. Sounds like the robots were trying to defend themselves from us. I got them. I'm gonna go see if I can power the switch. And I think the part the we're about to get to is where I was around an hour and a half from the end. So probably like an hour and a half or so from the end. It worked. Maybe the robots did it for her. I wonder if they secretly hate her. There must be some way we can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on! Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to wank on. This is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? No, oh, puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange, and you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. And all the robots out there. Fuck. Oh my god, it broke! We're stuck! Robo Renegades? Did Dr. F lose control of these things? Pretty sure a battle or something goes Intrusion down here. In sublimation mat, deploying countermeasures. Defend the facility. Here's the notes right there. Never would have guessed it was there. No, it probably wasn't the last one I need for the achieve that I missed. So maybe I got it last time as well. With the motoline here. Let's go around the room to the right. We got a book already, so I'm suspecting we got everything that's here. The hell would have expected a book to be here on the floor? We gotta definitely keep our eyes open. At some point, someone will have a guide out, and it won't be as ridiculous to do. Can't do anything with that, apparently. Let's 
just looking up on the ledges. I just want to see if there's any way up on the ledge. I don't think there is. Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle-solving ability? Or her ability to program them? I get through that one. Obviously, you can just walk through them, you won't die. Put this away so it stops attracting me to any of the signs. So we take a look around, make sure we don't miss anything. Mostly puzzles here. I think it was just telling me that. ton of helium bombs, so I'm not too worried about that. I think I bought like two, three, or four at the beginning, something like that, the first store I came to. Great decision. Oh my. Hannibal at Portus. Still haven't made it to the uh, damn incinerator fight, have we? Not even sure. sure you can't climb there. More kidnapped robots. So you come through this 
door. There's a bigger banger hidden in those guys. Check what's here. So there's at least one robot who can speak English. So I came down here. I love got the to note. If she didn't torture him go today. Here. Go in here. Nope. Well, we can go in there. Goes into some room that I never been in, I don't think. Damn, this room's full of stuff. So we came through here. Get to right there. I think I came in here from the other way. This is your sneaking. Alright, please let me up here. I'm not afraid of the robots. I would like to fight them. I need to check around for books and collect them. through back here we went through that vent let's go through the other side of the vent to see where it goes wraps around it goes up comes up on top of here and you can cross here you can go here here. Drop down here. And you're in this room. right here so basically what happened here is we went through here we wrapped all the way around to over there 
So I'm coming back to here to inspect. We got the book down there. We already looked in here. Business really takes it out of you. This is where we came into. It's the elevator. We're not ready to take the elevator. This is how you get that first stay kit. I was wondering how you get it. I was like, it has to be possible. You gotta move the damn thing. Uh, that pretty much covers it. We gotta go up now. The real question is, where did we miss something? Was it the final mission? Was it... What the heck? So here we are on the upper level. It's gonna force me in the convo. So this is the elevator we came off and came in. Take her toasted chicory. One of the dead robots has some sort of device in its hands. Now we're finally at where uh, I started. So now we're like an hour and a half from the end. Oh, don't touch it! What? Well, apparently it slows time. That could come in handy. So we'll search this room thoroughly. First, we're gonna deal with the fight. Is she melting? Uh, Excision in smelter room. Deploying. Actually, I want to record a video here. Elter smelter. A lot of healing stuff, so we should be alright. Not die. TGS presents, we happy few, they came from below achievement, Helter Smelter, 15 gamer score, 0.01%, rare on the day after release, push 7 robots into the smelter. So uh, basically for this achievement, as it says, you have to push them right into the smelter, a uh, total of 7 robots. It does count, so if you die and you rinse repeat the same area, it will add up and you will get the achievement, you don't have to do it in one run. Basically, you'll get to this point and do Android's, Android's uh, Dream of Electric Sheep. And you'll enter this room after you get the uh, slow speed device. Pretty much what you want to do is... You know, just basically hit uh, right analog and push him in. I, mean. I like to get ahead, that's what I'm trying to do. What you want to do is you want to get a charge going on your weapon. Knocks him over, and then just push. That's one. You will die if you uh, don't take care of yourself in this one for sure. That quite a few times getting this achievement. Right now, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. That's two. 
You're better off dying after a while and just rinse and repeating until the achieve pops. All you do is start right back upstairs and pick up the gravity device again. And pretty much how the cookie crumbles. The little guys are more of a pain in the ass to deal with. It's a little bit easier to deal with the taller guys with this. Use it to your advantage if you want. But uh, yeah, just do that till you get seven of them. I plan to complete the sequence, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But like I said, just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and eventually you get to seven. Just make sure it's during this part of the mission. There you go. Would appreciate if you like and sub. To fight. So got like all the achievement videos I wanted today. I'm gonna get those out ASAP. This is where we exit. So now we're gonna quickly go around the room, making sure we don't miss anything. Make sure there's no books. Or notes. So many damn bodies everywhere of robots. I don't think there's anything in this one. My God. Look what she's done to this one. I think I can wake it back up. I'm not going to turn it back on. Plasma Bouncing shots assist. upgrade. Should make my shots ricochet. Going to skip. Like oh, I said, anything that you uh, miss here. Verta, I promise. And unfortunately, you have to watch my first two streams of this. Well, first stream plus this one to catch all that. This was actually today's stream at the beginning, so we're basically right back where we started. I have to tell James what's going on. We need to stop her together. Let's see, we're back here, so we just continue on. Pretty much explored all this, so we don't need to check it again. We're heading back, though. It's pretty much the end of Do Andre's Dream of Electric Sheep, and I believe we end up getting ready to go into the third place, and then we end up in the fourth, which is the final boss fight. Like I said, if the achievement doesn't unlock, I am not redoing this until uh, I find an achievement guide that guarantees exactly everything. Not that it's bad, it's an awesome game, highly recommend it. Just do not want to waste another uh, two, three hours at a risk. So, quest complete, now we're at Childhood's End. And destroy it. We're going to the conversion facility now. That must be it. What if I want to go up above and hang out with my friends? Let's go this way. So wants us to go that way. Lock the door. What's wrong, puppy? No, you know, me. 
made you a cake. I'm 34 years old. Jesus was already dead. Well, he went into the family business. That always gives you a leg up. At least you fought for king and country. And if all we ever do is make each other happy, that's not enough. No, yeah, of course it is. Hey, maybe something will go horribly wrong and you'll rise to the occasion. You always know how to cheer me up, James. So we made it. Start up here. There's nothing here on the ground. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing back there. Nothing on top of there. Nothing on top of there. She's inside. I'm gonna check everywhere, but inside right now. Make sure we don't miss anything. Who dares wins, I suppose? lost when we kill each other what could we win right, if so we back to only looking. talk here i'll check around the right side of the room and the other side then we'll move on that's where we gotta go My puppy. This is dog tag. Maybe he's coming downstairs. Not really sure. Or he's just wandering about. I mean, who knows what?
I read a little higher. I just want to check, make sure there's nothing on there. Whoa. Nothing on top of this one either. My pup just came down, so that's why I was quiet for a sec there. Before we pull the lever, let's investigate what's around. Yeah, I don't want to sound that toasted chicory. switch get the Faraday's machine stuff I'm getting. Here's a note. Up we go. Uh, now we're up in here. Let's see what's going on. Fan is off. We can't go that way not go through there. It's obviously one way out. This uh, DLC is pretty linear in that sense. There's not much guessing where you gotta go. It's kind of well contained. Oh, that's in the missile room. I'll survive the missiles and the robots and the missiles and then we'll uh go from there. She's got missiles now! Eliminate the same trigger. I think I can shoot them! came through this door, right? That's where we came from into here. Take a quick look around the room. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry if there's any noise in the background. My pup's like scratching himself and his collar's smacking around. Loud as hell. Oh crap, we can go up here. So we can't get up there where those are, unfortunately. <laughs> Got a note right there. Many more. Just make them into willing slaves. like instantaneously you would just be portaling like New York to LA and stuff you wouldn't have to like load onto a plane and all this crap just walk in the damn portal everyone just like walks through with their luggage next thing you know you're at the exit seems fortune is a lot more people will travel too for sure the bold. But they probably try and charge you a shit ton of money for it then mishaps would happen the person gone miss ended up in Anchorage went for Los Angeles that's it, isn't it? Alright, so we got a big fight here. I'm kinda stuck. Feed of Faraday's robots. Now that's locked, and now we're gonna go ahead and circle the room, checking for any collectibles. Search on the center of the room because sometimes they put them on the floor in random spots like that. Now let's check around each of these as we destroy them, I guess. Let's just check around and we'll destroy them. I don't want to ruin any chances. Now I'll check back behind them before. Notes anywhere, no notebooks. I think we're good to start doing this. Me to return to James. Going through this new way now. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Up we go. Here, we've already been through here. The hell's James at? Probably up top. Where's Faraday? <coughs> now we fight James. 
because he's crazy and decides to fight me. What have I done? Search him. Got yeah, nothing on him. I hope I'm right. Raygun upgrade. The last one. Fast recharge. We're basically going to the final boss fight again already. This is it right here, guys. It's a lot faster if you speed run it. Holy crap, I didn't realize how short this could be. It's crazy. There's no way we're at the final boss fight already. That's where the final, uh, final log or note might be. That's my thought. Do a final check around here again. Make sure it didn't like spawn anything in while I've been gone. Holy crap. Pretty sure it's the final boss fight here. that right there. If the achieve doesn't pop then it's either glitched or something is like extremely difficult to locate and we're not going to be able to get it done. I'm hoping it's the one in this room and I just didn't look for it. I'm thinking it might be. We never searched uh, around the boss fight room, we just fought the boss. But we should probably run around the entire room, every nook and cranny looking for a note. I forget if we even have control after that or if it's the end of the game, period. So we made it to the bottom level here. Can't go that way. I was gonna see if we jump down and look. Here's the door I came through. Check the corpses. See if they have anything. Is there anything tucked away in here or on top of it? see any other collectibles, I don't know guys. Might just be glitched or extremely difficult to do. I at least got my videos done, that was one of the biggest part. I might have to replay this in the future, but it seems like in about two hours or less you can slam out this DLC. Especially if we're just speed running it.
So I can leave James behind, I'm gonna do that this time. Look, we were never meant to be together. If it wasn't for the war, we'd never have got together in the first place. And you were always meant for greater things. I'll get them to open the portals. I'll come back. <sighs> That'd be nice. My love. Goodbye, James. Take care of yourself. That's the end of the DLC. And no achievement. Starting to think it's possibly bugged. Still 0.00% for everybody, including myself. Checking real quick. I mean, we pretty much did everything. There's nothing I could really do. I, I don't even want to consider replaying. We just searched every nook and cranny and everything. So, uh, considering we have all the achievements but one, which seems to be glitched, I'm going to call the stream. Uh, basically, what happened is there's 10 total achievements. We got nine of them. We got Local Hero, Smashing Adventure, Deprogrammed, Headmaster, Queen Faraday, Helter Smelter, 
Shouldn't these be red? Poor Viv, Metal Guru. And uh, unfortunately, the last one, nobody has at all. Which, and the fact that I found like every little thing that I could find in this playthrough, almost. Like I can't imagine where else they could hide something. And uh, I, I didn't get this achievement, and nobody else has it. Period. Which makes me think that it's possibly glitched, or we're all missing something that's extremely hidden very, very well. Maybe it fell through the map. Who the hell knows? But uh, this is one of those games where you just have to accept it. Uh, like Mafia 3 had a few glitched achieves. Assassin's Creed has a bunch of 0% achieves because they're not even available yet. So we're going to go ahead and accept it at this point as I have no idea. I, even if I Google it, I can't find any inf information at all. As to give me reason to uh, try to look for the items. Just checking real quick to see. Yeah, there's like nothing on it at all. If I look up the achievement, it's one moment here. Let me get the achievement name again. I think it's well read. Well read achievement. We happy few. We've only been back like an hour, ten minutes, apparently. Shows up. But yeah, there's nothing. Yep, there's absolutely like nothing available on this Achieve, and nobody has it, so obviously nobody knows how to get it yet, or it's glitched. So we'll call the stream, I don't feel like replaying that again, and I don't see any reason to hop into the base game. Uh, a few ways this might go, I might be done for today, or I might consider hopping on something for like an hour, like 5.30 to 6.30, like Minecraft or something. Uh, no guarantees at all, if I'll get back on, but it is a possibility. Thank you guys for watching. Would really appreciate if you like and sub. Sorry we didn't get the final achieve, but not much I could do about it. I did as close to 100% playthrough as the game would allow me. Catch you guys later. Peace out.